Hi Scorpio, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. There are more details to this reading located in the description box. We're going to see whatever spirit wants you to hear right now. Let's see. Wow. Well, there's somebody here in their head. They're held back from you, but they're in their head about you. Heartbroken. So I feel like this King of Wands energy, you know, male or female, whoever this is, they have a strong attraction to you. It's a strong physical attraction. They're wanting to talk to you, but Five of Swords energy, this is self-sabotaging behavior. This person has a tendency to get in their own way. I feel like there's this shield you have up though, okay? They see you as someone who is very direct. Do you have clear boundaries, okay? You clearly are someone who's independent. You could see all sides of every issue. Like this person thinks you're highly intelligent, okay? And they want a new opportunity with you. They want to manifest something with you, but the Eight of Swords tells me this is self-imposed imprisonment. This is a victim mentality, negative thought process. This is someone that I, I feel like they're fearing rejection and they feel like their hands are tied. Now, the Three of Swords can indicate others being involved. But the general for the Three of Swords is this person is worried, okay? They're worried how you're going to perceive them. Let's see. What's going on in this situation? What is going on in this situation? Okay. A lot of held back energy. Side message. I do feel like you should watch your finances. Try not to overindulge this week. I feel like your guides are wanting you to balance out your finances or balance out your spending. Pay attention to what's coming in and going out. But it's definitely an energy of taking control over your finances and saving and having discipline here, okay? But with the situation with this person, it's just a lot of, there's a lot of tension between you two. And, and I feel like you're both held back from one another. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. There's... Yeah, look at this. The Emperor could be a workplace situation for some of you, but it doesn't have to be. It's an energy of what you both wanting to be in control of the situation. So how do you do that? You stubbornly hold back from one another. Kind of feels like a stalemate between you two this week. This feels like a, a standoff, okay, for the upper hand or a standoff. You know how you're wanting to be in control and, you know, of the situation? They're in the same energy. They're Y'all are mirroring each other, really. Appearing cold, detached, okay? You know, it really is. Underneath all of this, though, it's because you both are trying to get mental, mental clarity, I feel like your thoughts are racing for one another with this King of um, King of Swords, Knight of Swords, and so it's like the purpose of this being held back, held back from one another, is because I feel like you both are afraid that you're seeing something that's not real, or you know, the Moon energy being here. It's like you both are afraid of creating an illusion or something not being revealed. 
Okay, and so I feel like you both are heavily analyzing each other and analyzing the situation. Not wanting to jump into something too quickly before you think something through. We have Aries energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but you guys, it could be any sign. Nine of Wands. So you're the wounded warrior. I feel like you've seen this. I heard you've... Okay. I've heard you, you've seen this film before. Okay, so something could be very similar to something you've experienced in the past. But this Nine of Wands is also an energy of having boundaries. Your guard is up. You could be blocking someone energetically here. But I feel like this has really been a test of your faith, your, your toughness, really. Okay. I, I feel with off of this, radiating off this card, you are definitely doing things a lot differently than your past self would have done. And to you, this is really courageous to actually hold back, to keep your guard up. I think you guys may have been so used to being open and vulnerable with people, you've decided to not do that anymore. I feel like you have this protective bubble over you. I do see that it, it feels like you feel some resistance here. Okay. And I also have to say, Scorpio, what I'm picking up on, there's some type of energetic resistance between the both of you. And I'm going to pull a card for to pinpoint exactly where that's coming from. Where is that coming from? I don't know why. I just feel like you both are, you both are wanting to speak with each other, but you both are avoiding each other. Where is this resistance coming from? Ten of Cups. It talks about family, relationships, divine love, really, okay? I feel like you guys have an idea of each other and it's almost like whether you realize it or not on like a deeper level like a subconscious level I feel like you guys are afraid of something not being as great as you want it to be and it's like if you two were to open up to one another there's a, there's this there's this internal fear that things wouldn't be as good as fantasizing about it now, of course, there could be connections getting in the way, other people, family. The Hermit is Virgo energy. Yeah, that's inner guidance, okay? Self-reflecting. It's like wondering if things would be as good as you have dreamed it up to be or fantasized it to be. You're both kind of subconsciously that's lingering in your energies okay i think you guys are trying to figure out what it is you truly want from each other how do you feel about this person well you're romantically attracted to them the empress there's a lot of tension you have a strong desire for this person, okay? But there, there could be a lot of sexual tension between you. You could also be, it's kind of like you don't want to give to the situation without receiving. And you want to hold your power over this person. Okay? But ultimately, the Empress being your emotions, I mean, you are romantically attracted to someone. And we have divine masculine and divine feminine energy here. So what we have is two divine masculine and feminine energies that want to be together, but 
you guys have some things to work out individually and to, you know, soul search and self-reflect. Because I feel like whether you are acknowledging this or not, you want to appear to somebody as tough, resilient, someone who can spring right back, okay? You want to appear as if you are not needing someone, which I don't think you need them, but there is a strong attraction for one another. And I feel like the resistance is coming from wanting to be together, but fearing that things would not be as good as they are now. And I don't know if that makes, that's not going to make sense to everybody, but that's really what I'm getting. It's kind of like subconsciously fearing that if you two pursue each other or become an item, that there's going to be drama, that there's going to be pettiness, disagreements, arguments, okay? And every relationship has that. So I feel like it's a fear of letting go of a fantasy, really. Because when you become an item with someone and you are committed, there's going to be struggles. Every connection goes through struggles. Page of Swords. I just, this person is like, now what? This immediately what popped in my head, like, this person is like, now what? I see them communicating with you in the future. Let's see, how do they see Scorpio right now? How do they see you right now? Okay, uh, Eight of Cups. They think you don't trust them or that you don't trust anyone. Like, the Eight of Cups is an energy of emotional setback. They see you as someone who has this potential, okay, to unground them it's because they're so vul they're vulnerable around you. Whether you realize it or not, this person's incredibly vul vulnerable around you. And so it's like they're, they, they see you as someone who just kind of shakes them. You unground them. But really they see you, they see you as withdrawn. They're disappointed with how you are acting toward them right now or the lack of action. Okay. Is what I'm getting. But let's not forget this. You two clearly have a very strong connection. Okay. So they, but they see you as withdrawn. There's definitely some sort of setback here. Okay. And I feel like things are not going according to plan. All right. How they had hoped. Okay. Could be other people involved for some of you guys, competition or their ego is definitely thinking you're dealing with others and that has really got them bothered. They think that's why you're withdrawn from them just because you have other options and they're really struggling with this. I feel like they're trying to come across. So it's like whether you see this person on a day-to-day -day basis or not, Scorpio, to everyone else, they try to come across as together. They, they try to come across as a leader, okay? But underneath the surface, they're really struggling with thoughts of you having a, a better time with someone else or other people gaining your interest here. I feel like they feel as if you've started a fire, okay, in them. Like, they feel like you started this fire. You're a fire starter. You, you, you sparked passion in them and and then you walked away now i know some of you guys are thinking well they walked away from me well that's not how they see the situation i feel like this person sees you as the wiser one 
Okay, we have the Five of Swords, Four of Wands, High Priestess. This is like a game of poker. This is like energy of having a poker face, but Scorpio, I feel like your bullshit detector is really high. Like, I feel like however you intuitively read this situation, you know, this high priestess energy is telling me you can be, you are reading something accurately. Like, you know, this person wants to reunite or, or just become an item. You know it. But there's, a, you know, they desire you, they want you. But there's this energy of winning at all costs and trying to defeat the other with silence. How do they feel? Like you're pushing them away. They're really, this could be a workplace situation with the queen of pentacles, but it doesn't have to be. I feel like you're blocking this connection. Because you act busy. What are their next actions towards Scorpio? Oh, they're coming for you. They're going to take control. This is, some, especially if you're dealing with a masculine energy. I feel like this is someone who's going to step into their masculine energy. And, you know, the chariot can be the energy of, like, the hero. Tell me more about this. But it's action-oriented, okay? Yeah, they're going to tell you how they feel. All of this is teaching this person to speak up. And I just see this person is determined to have you. They're determined for you to know what's going on in their heart. They're afraid of missing an opportunity. Give me one more card, please. Yeah, ten of, ten of swords. They know that if they don't take action now, if they don't come after you, that this is going to end. Okay, so it's kind of like the energy of someone thinking that they better act very quickly or you have the potential to let them go. And they feel like this is in the future. They're going to be like, you know what? I might as well just say it. I might as well just rip the bandaid off because it's going to hurt either way. It's going to hurt if Scorpio rejects me, but it's also going to hurt if I never even try. And so I feel like they give up this act of trying to, they, they realize the real control comes from coming after you. I feel like this is something that this person is trying to deprogram themselves from. They're trying to learn this lesson, whether they realize that or not, that the real control comes from going after what it is you desire, which is you. Okay. That's where the real control is. So they go from being stubborn and held back to coming straight for you. Give me a hidden truth card. Give me a hidden truth card. They have feelings for you. It says they still have feelings for you. They're not going, their feelings for you are not going anywhere. Okay. Now I will say, um, the main, and then so many things remind them of you. So the main signs I have in this reading, we have Virgo, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Cancerian energy, Gemini, Aquarius, could be any sign though, guys. This is just the main signs that I see. We're going to do their sign. We're going to do all signs, their sign. This is the sign you're dealing with. Okay, Aries through Pisces, please. Aries through Pisces.
I'm gonna get a sip of coffee real quick. Okay, if you are dealing with an Aries, they're in their head, mental conflict, okay? They, they're overthinking the entire thing right now, but you live in this Aries head. I'm also getting that Aries watches you. That's why they think about you so much. They can't help but watch you or look at you or look at your social media, something along those lines. This could be an energy of like just picturing you as well. So the Taurus, the Taurus will reach out. They're, the Taurus is focused on you and they're going to reach out. The Gemini, strong desire here this Gemini has for you. I see communication coming in, a gesture, communication from a Gemini. The Cancer wants a relationship, Ten of Cups. The Leo spies on you. Okay, they're going to communicate or there, there's some sort of... Um, there's some sort of message this Leo is going to communicate to you some way, somehow, but the Leo spies, watches you, looks at you. I see the conflict continuing between you and a Virgo. I feel like, you know, this conflict has a lot to do with you two fighting for the upper hand. Tell me more. Ten of Wands. The Virgo is, they're burdened by the conflict, but they're just so damn stubborn right now. If you're dealing with a Libra, they think you two are meant to be. The Libra sees you as a soulmate. Uh, however you feel about this Libra, though, is how they feel about you. The feelings are mutual with the Two of Cups. If you're dealing with another Scorpio, there's a message coming in. A flirtatious message. The Sagittarius is very attracted to you. I see them taking action. The Capricorn uh, Knight of Wands, they're coming back in. The Aquarius. The Aquarius is afraid you've moved on already. Yeah, High Priestess. The Aquarius has hidden feelings for you, but they feel like your lack of communication or your lack of interest that you show means you've moved on. That's what they feel. The Pisces. The Pisces wants another opportunity, but I feel like they are trying to ignore this for now, but they do want another opportunity with you. All right, Scorpio, those are your messages. Until next time, bye.